Because I think the thing about prose that interests me is that, and, you know, people speak about, you know, writers finding their voice, and I, I understand what they mean by that, and it's true. But you also need to find your silence. You need to find what it's like uh, for, see, silence in prose is much more difficult to speak about. It's, it's a, I'm going to make no sense at all to you now, but I'm going to try. Uh, silence in music is, is easy to speak about because it's written, you know, and we talk about, you know, Beethoven's incredible ability to write in silence, no? Um, but even in, you know, pop songs, you can write in silence. There's a particular stop, a beat. Uh, with, with prose, you can talk about silence in that way, like a full stop, a comma, a break in the paragraph, a new chapter. Um, but the silence I mean is different from that. I mean the silence that hovers around a sentence, hovers around the prose, around a paragraph. Um, and no two silences sound the same. You know, it's a bit like, it's a bit like if you're alone in the car. That's a different kind of silence than when you're alone in the car with your mother. Or if you're alone in the car with your mother and your mother is asleep, the silence changes again. You know, so we know this from life, that no two silences are the same. And it's the same with prose. And I think one of the keys into a work, for me at least, is discovering that silence of that book. You know, the, the